This place first opened way back in 1957. We are inside legendary Lambeau Field here in Green Bay. No team means more to a city than the Packers to Green Bay. And this was the scene a few moments ago as the green and gold made their way out of the historic tunnel. They're ready to go as they get set to match up with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh set to take over again on offense. on first down. That'll be taken in there by James Washington. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 39 yards the distance covered on the catch and run. Uh, some early fireworks on the first play from scrimmage. The last fireworks I saw July 4th, okay? Here they are celebrating the start of this game the exact same way. Explosive right out of the gate. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Johnson, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Now Roethlisberger to throw. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line by Travius Adams with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. On fourth down, here comes the Steeler punter Jordan Berry to kick it away. Tyler Irvin back deep. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. The Packers offense set to go. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 16. He'll set up to throw from the gun. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. That son's going to be a factor all game long. I'm not sure it made a difference on that one, but it's something to think about on all deep throws during this time of year. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Brought down that time by Christian Kirksey. 
But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. From the 44, Roethlisberger looking middle, and it's incomplete. Johnson was the intended receiver, but now it's third down, and that would off the mark behind him, incomplete. And eight yards to go. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. But it's brought in by Washington. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. So even with the pass interference, it's a completed pass. They'll go ahead and just take the play instead. How about the effort? Making the catch despite the pass interference. Nothing else to be gained on the play. No need to take the penalty. The play stands. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. And hitting Juju on the slant. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit, and that's what he did on that play. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Just to pick up a three, but that is indeed enough. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. To throw here, Roethlisberger. Got an open man, it's Washington. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there and also a first down. How about the first quarter he's putting together out wide? Pretty impressive. I think that he likes the fact that we're playing this as a day game. You know, some guys, they respond better in the evenings for some reason it builds up. For this guy, day game, and he is off and running. You're exactly right. 100 might be conservative with the start that he's had here in the first quarter. Yeah, by the numbers, he's on pace for 200-plus right now. We're scoreless after one. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And he's in! Touchdown, Steelers! Ben Roethlisberger with a touchdown pass to Juju Smith-Schuster as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Well, we had the scoreless first quarter of play. We sure didn't have to wait long into the second quarter to get some action on the scoreboard. So was the first quarter a feeling out process? I mean, that was an interesting quarter, wasn't it? Because we had some action, we had some good play. Just didn't have any points. So now, it's game on. Boswell good with the extra point, And it's now a 7-0 game. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? 
but you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Aaron exactly. Or the, the right area. play, yeah. That too. <laughs> Cameron Hayward getting upfield to make the stop. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before it's taken down. 22 yards there, a first down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. T.J. Watt, always a disruptor, there to blow that play up. Throwing on second and 14. Rodgers, he'll get this one into the hands of Lewis. That catch good for five. It's third down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. And the Steelers now in the nickel here on third down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And that will be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. It's always a goal. And it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for Green Bay. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Steelers are going to take over first and 10 deep in their own territory. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Now the pass finding its way into the hands of Eric Ebron. A gain of six there on first. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. And oh, his first carry, he loses the football. And this is going to be a Steelers first down as the tackle made just shy of the 30. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Roethlisberger, that one into the hands of his tailback, Samuels. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Ten more there and another first down. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. 
To throw again on second down. Roethlisberger. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. On first down, it's Roethlisberger. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this just shy of the 20. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. To throw again is Roethlisberger. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Throwing again, it's Roethlisberger. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. First down, a bit of a disaster. And now on second and goal, back even further. Ebron with it over the middle. Now the Steelers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Roethlisberger will throw. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Well, Zadarius Smith there getting in and bringing him to the ground. So we've reached halftime with just the lone touchdown here. 7-0 is our score. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Coach. Appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. Out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid gain. To throw on third down. Rodgers. He'll get this to Lazard. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here. And he also picks up a first down. At the 39-yard line. Watch the 
Shotgun now for Rodgers. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He was looking for the connection with Devin Funches. And that'll bring up second down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well. And that one's incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Throwing again. Rodgers. He sets up the screen to Jones. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. He's got Adams on the hookup. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Now a first down carry by Jones. It's Big Vince Williams who made the tackle. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Adams hauling it in from Rodgers. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 29-yard line. Rodgers finding Adams for a Packer first. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Green Bay, Wisconsin is the spot. Third quarter inside Lambeau. Glad you're with us. Second and ten. They go back to the ground with Jones. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 12 yards there and a first down. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half. Things haven't worked so well in the first go around. They want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. And he's able to get this inside the 10 now to the 9. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now a draw play. This is Jones. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. First and goal at the three-yard line. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Touchdown, Packers! It's Devontae Adams hauling it in from Aaron Rodgers. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And all about 
timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. And an important one that is as we are tied now early in this fourth quarter. Seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. And now out come the Steelers. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. They begin on the ground here with Connor. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. On second down, Samuels. And flags come in as he gets forward for about three yards. And let's check on the call. So he was holding from that left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Now Roethlisberger to throw. And it's complete. He gets this one to Washington. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. So a big penalty there on the face mask leads to first and ten. Now Ben going to give this one to Connor. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Now Roethlisberger getting this one into the hands of Smith-Schuster. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 23 yards the pick up there. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 down at the 31. Roethlisberger will hand to Connor. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. Right back to Cotter here on first. Runs over him. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. 
An 18-yard touchdown run. And the Steelers have taken the lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Boswell. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This will be fielded inside the five. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Now he'll escape to his right. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Looking to throw again on second down. Rodgers, the left side throw complete to Adams. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 29-yard line. Oh my God. They'll look to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver, and it's second down. He was unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 12-yard line. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Brandon's okay what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. First down now, but the clock continues to move. He'll look to throw. And he's got it. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. They're giving the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30. So now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. So the face mask moves him closer. And now first and goal. Oh, they go with a tight end carry. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Mercedes Lewis taking it in. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. 
Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch tomorrow. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Here's Kareth White on the return. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. Now a pass that's taken in by Smith-Schuster. A gain of six there on first. This is where, of course, it's good to have a veteran quarterback under center. You would just be able to put out one of those blood pressure clips, and nothing would be different for him. He's done it many times before, expects to get it accomplished again. Roethlisberger got to get his guys to the line as quick as he can. Roethlisberger to throw. Got an open man, it's Washington. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm gonna keep firing. Throwing now is Roethlisberger. Open man completes it to Smith Schuster. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Well, I'm no coach, but there's just not time right now for throws that short. Yeah, sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. As Coach Madden liked to say, sometimes you have to take what you want. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Second and four. Here's Roethlisberger. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Roethlisberger. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the offense will get this one back. Boy, that could have been catastrophic at this late stage of the game, but they avoid disaster. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. Fumble on first down, now here's second down. To throw here, Roethlisberger. Looking deep here for Ebron. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, 
the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. And able to get this out to the 25. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now. The ones who are doing it best know they need to go down down attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw again, Rodgers, and he'll look for Adams again, and this time he's got it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Caught on the right side by Adams. About five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. It's a gain of five, brings up second and five at the 47-yard line. And again, it's Rodgers. And this will complete right side to Funches. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. When you're trying to win a game in overtime, I don't know that there's too many more in the history of the game you want under center than Aaron Rodgers. Well, I think a lot of it's because he can beat you so many different ways. All right, he can beat you with the big shot downfield. Heck, if you need a Hail Mary, no one throws it better than Aaron Rodgers. But just when you think you've got him corralled in, when you've got pressure on him, he uses his legs to escape and create another big play, whether he's running it or extending it so a receiver gets open. I think he embraces overtime, and he embraces the spotlight that comes with it. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Packer first down. The 37-yard line. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Slant to Adams. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. Charles, you get into these overtime situations. That's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're at OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Where they say, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. A run with Jones on first down, not going to yield much. A yard top, second down coming up. But I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settle it because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, raking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the... And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and a game winner in OT. A harder great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters <laughs> what you wanted, but how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Packers are winners here as we say so long from Lambeau.